Welcome back to Shit They Don't Tell You. I'm Nikki Limo. Hi, my name is Steve Green. And reporting live from the wildlands. We are in the wilds of Burbank right now. Uh, in a are, lockdown building. Yes, we are the only, well, there's our sound producer, Mark, that's right behind yes. there. But besides we're him, it. we're the only three people. People in the building in the right building. now. And the building is locked down. When I say yeah. locked down, it's been locked, locked down. Locked down. And also, they went over this whole room with Lysol and all kinds of disinfectant stuff. So, And we're it. We're yeah. the only people using this room. Very but it feels pretty eerie. <laughs> it doesn't? It? Yeah, right? Getting here was eerie. Yeah. Walking up was eerie. Having Mark like let us in the side door and locking everything up afterward was eerie. And if you're watching this in the very far future, currently we are in a time period where we are practicing social distancing. Everybody is basically confined to their homes and unless you're going out to get groceries or unless to the pharmacy. They are- 15 years old right now and they were born in 2020 i think they'll probably know what's going on <laughs> no i said if you're watching the distant future no, i know but i'm saying in the distant distant oh. you know what i'm saying because most people went through this too yeah true but like you could forget in five years that's that like like why are they acting like something crazy is going on good point well anyway um i feel like before all this went down the need to connect to people was more prevalent than ever but now i think it truly truly is oh, man. more prevalent than ever we have so many single friends uh shout out to all of our single friends uh, and they are so lonely right now. They are going insane. Yes. They're going crazy. They're like, you're so lucky you have Steve to at least talk to. I'm going crazy. Um, and I feel, I get it because we as human beings, we're very social creatures. That is just something that's like ingrained in our DNA. Uh, like if you go back to even early caveman days, there's tribes and stuff because we're just programmed to want to socialize and be around people. I am. And a lot of people like, myself are introverts and are, have been like well i mean i feel like i'm thriving during this time just having a lot of alone time but there's still a need to connect to people like the things i'm doing uh, alone i'm still sharing some stuff on social media i'm still talking to people on social media i'm still watching other people um on like TikTok or uh, Instagram or whatever and i still feel like i have a connection to people um but we decided to team up with Bumble before all of this because um, a lot of the questions that we get coming in for like our, our Q&A segments were about like, how do I find people to connect to? How do I uh, meet p- new people without being weird? And then like once I meet new people, how do I establish like a relationship? This is one of the com- most common questions that we get. And it's not just romantic. It's also friendships yes. and business relationships. And what I didn't know before this partnership was that Bumble does all three types of relationships. Right. There's uh, three separate tiers that you can go to and you can fill out a profile for uh, depending on what you're looking for. So there's something for everyone. I definitely need this right now. Yeah, um, you can, I know you, you can look for friends, you can look for business partners, you can look for relationship stuff. It's not just one thing. Yeah, it's exactly. I didn't know that either. So um, we thought today what would be a cool way to address a lot of those questions just all at once is to go over um, like how to fill out a profile. Um, uh, some statistics from online dating sites are that the number one reason that they don't have that people don't have success with online dating is because uh, the number one thing is that they don't know how to pitch themselves. Yeah, no, it's like they big, don't know man. how to fill out a profile. It's so hard. You sit there and you got a you got a blank screen and you're like, who am I right now? And I have to do it in a couple of lines. Like it's it's not easy stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we want to kind of use this episode to help anyone out there that's struggling with um, knowing what their best traits are and how to put that into a profile so that you can actually meet somebody that. Or, or multiple people that um, share your common interests and kind of get who you are as a person so that they don't like overlook you just because you just didn't know how to pitch yourself properly. Yeah, man, you're, I mean, you're, you're stuck right now or, or you feel stuck. And so this is a great opportunity to meet somebody and really kind of dig deep and actually know them a little bit. Yeah, because not being able to talk to other people, especially people with your same kind of mindset and interests it can wear down on your on your mental health and um you know how you feel about yourself and how your your abilities to communicate with people and then eventually your self-esteem and it's just a a spiral that can be easily prevented by just having developing the the skills to communicate yeah and pitching yourself is everything like if you can if you can just i mean 
we're all kind of storefronts for our own, you know, what, like what I do and like who I am and, but like your storefront, like what's your sign outside? Like, why are people going to park at your establishment and use your business? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like that's the main thing is that, um, if you think about yourself as a product, Mm -hmm. like you're your own product and how would you sell you? Like, how do I sell Nikki? And I guess for us, like as entertainers and freelancers, I've been more accustomed to this idea, but I remember when I first heard about it, it like blew my mind mind that like basically we're in sales but we're the product yeah, absolutely you know when i whenever i went out to auditions or com- or like commercial auditions or th- or acting any other acting auditions um the first thing i had to take was an image class where they told me what people perceive me as mm-hmm. like what type of person i fit into and like where um like what how people, people see you yeah, how people see me and it's so valuable to know yeah. that but a lot of people don't know that they look in the mirror and they're like well they probably i'm looking at my flaws i'm looking at what doesn't what's not working for me right now yeah and it was also interesting to be in a room because one of the exercises we did was you sat in the middle of the room and then people would like just shout like the adjectives that they thought about you just uh, based off seeing you and it was interesting because it it kind of changed the way um i expressed myself because some of the things i'm like wait i'm so not that person like i don't want that message to come across so there it was very very helpful to at least know like how how it was perceived what things were accurate like what i believe to be true about me and what things were like so far off that i was like oh no i don't want people to get that impression but how many i mean impressions everything right because how many times you watch like a tv show or something and a new character walks in you immediately judge them right yeah. like oh he's a douchebag guy he's really good looking so he's probably vapid like you know like there's a lot of things that we all do whether we know we're doing it or not yeah uh, and it's good to, to think of yourself that same way how are people seeing me and the other biggest complaint that i get about uh um, our single friends that are doing that do online dating or have tried it and they get frustrated with it is that um, a lot of people are just there to hook up. And I completely relate to that um, where if you're just like sifting through profiles or if, if someone's out there and they just want to hook up and they're just sifting through profiles, they're just going to talk to the people they find physically attractive. Yeah. And they right? think that are DTF. Yeah, exactly. Which is so frustrating if you're somebody that's actually looking for a deeper relationship and I think that one good that is coming out of everybody not being able to meet up in real life right now is that you kind of do have to establish that real solid connection first. Yeah, are they going to be interesting for a, a long period of time? Because you can't see them, so there is no physical connection to like addict you to them. You know how we all get infatuated by yeah, somebody? Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't have that to lean on, so now you have to form a deeper bond potentially. Mm -hmm. Or or if you're not doing it, then there's your good indicator of how interesting it would be. Which I'm such a big supporter of anyway, because I truly, none of the relationships, all of my long-term relationships that I've had, they've all been friendships first. Mm -hmm. And it's harder to do that when you're online dating because people are just so fast. It's almost like speed dating. So how do you be friends first before uh, actually going on a date? But right now when we have all this time where we're alone and we're connecting just digitally, you're like actually like you become a friend and then it becomes something else. If it becomes a romantic relationship later, then cool. But it's almost like an afterthought now. Like you, you're kind of forced to make a friend first. Which is great. Yeah. It's so good for a deeper, like longer lasting relationship. How many people talk to us and they're like, I want a relationship like you guys have. Right. But like, dude, we built this relationship and we, it started as a friendship and we yeah. just sort of like have met each other in the middle and built on top of that. I also like when I analyze our relationship, like looking back, I'm like, I'm so glad that we had that friendship first because our first year was really rocky. And we've talked about it a few times before, but I don't know if people actually understand the the like gravity of how, how rocky, rocky it yeah, was. It was, very rocky. it was very, very rocky. We fought or like we argued all the time. We bickered all the, all time. the time. It was we were constantly like, just throwing jabs at each other off of like miscommunication and misconceptions and i think that if we hadn't formed that friendship first i don't know if we would have lasted because would have, it wouldn't have been deep enough no because um, be worth that it was like that friendship allowed benefit of the doubt like even when i was thinking the worst of him that friendship that happened first was like but i know he's a good person like i know that he must not mean that because we had this solid friendship underneath it all yeah. and so once we like got down to brass tacks that was like the solid foundation we were able to rely on. Yeah, and, and ultimately too, I also knew, not even just friendship wise, it's because I knew you for so long beforehand, I knew you were a good person like you're saying, right? Yeah. Like I knew that you weren't, 
crazy or like a, like a mean person or like any of the things that maybe I thought at the time, like in the interim, yeah. were, well, it seems like every time something little happens, she explodes on me or whatever. Yeah. I knew that I wasn't understanding something. Right. Like I wasn't understanding where you were coming from. Uh, because I had had so many interactions with you that were positive. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, now that we're intimate, we're having negative interactions. So what's really happening? What's really informing all right. this Right, and we knew that our values were the same. Exactly. And that was because we were friends. See, and that would never get me to the table, uh, like for the, for our first date, say. Mm -hmm. If I didn't know that already, right. that our values were locked in. Like, this is stuff that you can use now, right? You're on you're on Bumble, say. Yeah. And you're you're forming a deep connection with somebody like through your screen, through FaceTime, through, you know, that that's so valuable if if it's deep or right. if if you're understanding who they are. It doesn't have to necessarily be deep, but if you're understanding each other, you're forming some kind of bond or friendship, it will help you with your relationship later. Yeah, it filters out all of those people that we're just not that serious. Exactly. That just wanted to hook up and stuff. And and maybe you do want to hook up. That's fine too. But totally. I, but th th we're not shaming any of that sh stuff. We're. Just, I, I just think that this is about how to get a form a better a, a better relationship. Yeah, and like a, a, a deeper connection. Because I think that's what people struggle about the most. I think for the most part, people you can find people to hook up with. Like that's right. the least hard thing to do. But finding like a int an intimate relationship or a solid relationship or a solid friendship is much more difficult. And I think it is difficult because people don't know where to start and people don't know um, what is, what's what been preventing them from getting that. Yeah, and I and you know, we talk to so many single people too all the time who are negative about themselves. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and I think that they probably think it's self-deprecation or something, but if I'm trying to be sold on them, if I put myself in that headspace of like, okay, if I was thinking about dating this person, if all I hear from them is how bad they are, how not good they are at things or whatever, I'm not look. I, they're not inflating their balloon in my eyes. They're actually deflating it. They're actually like lowering their their stance mm -hmm. for me. Like, um, and I love self deprecation. That's one of my favorite things in the world. Totally. But it's about having self awareness. Confidence. Yeah. Like a, a center of, of confidence that makes somebody go, oh, I want to be with this person because they they like themselves in mm -hmm. some in some way. Even if you're a self deprecating person, you. There's something about yourself that you like. Yeah, there's something different between um, like having a confidence about who you are and like a solid grounding of who you are and being like, oh, but I'm clumsy and I spill things. Ugh. You know, right. like that's there more, he goes that's, again. That's self deprecating, but it's like I still know what I bring to the table. I still have like skills and then worth and stuff. Um, then there's other people that are like, I, I just there I go again. I'm fucking stupid. And, that right. Yeah. So exactly that that you are shit. Mm -hmm. that's what keeps because you are a clumsy person but i it is an endearing quality that you have to me like that is only blown you up for me because mm -hmm. you're clumsy because i think glass should be very afraid in your presence <laughs> i call her the butcher of, of glass i think that glassware when nikki rocks walks into the room they hide their kids like they hide little shot glasses up behind them and stuff they're like oh my god she's here because you're you're very clumsy but that is a part of you that i love now yeah because i it's part of who you are as a whole person you know what i'm saying yeah so you can i can love your your little quirks and things because i know you deeper than that because we had a rock steady foundation to build on on top of yeah so flaws become cute and endearing. hot and endearing yeah yeah and and yeah because i know like all the like get the intentions behind them exactly too. yeah um, so for those of you who are like, okay, how do I do it then? Just yeah, freaking true. tell me. <laughs> um, so the first thing I would do to kind of just get to know yourself and know what, how the world is perceiving you is I would ask people that are very close to you, your family, your friends, the ones that, that know you and tell them to be very, very honest with you and have them, uh, list some of your best traits, like things that they love about you that they know that if people just saw this this about you they would fall in love with um have them list out those and then i would have them list out maybe some negative traits like some weaknesses like some things that or maybe some misunderstandings things that you often get misunderstood for so that you kind of kind of like have that knowledge in order to like um pat you, you pat it you yeah, know yeah, like yeah. like if i know that i come across as like a know-it-all then I'd be more conscious about not coming across that way. Like, 
if that's not true. Like, I don't think I know everything and I am very proud to not know everything. So the last thing I would want was is someone to think that I'm a know-it-all, which is feedback that I've received before. Of course. So um, to not do that, I would, uh, you know, be more open. Conscious. Uh, conscious. Be more conscious of it. It's yeah. just something to be conscious about, not so that it takes over your the you know your presence of mind, but just something that you're like that you're that you're I don't know kind of like holding back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like cause... listening more is something that I incorporated more into my conversations because me too. Um, I want to the other person to feel like I'm like take like I'm there. I'm y- yeah. listening to them. And for me, uh, you know, having been in like a bunch of writers' rooms and improv stuff. You kind of are waiting to jump into a conversation sometimes, and so I can be an interrupting force yeah. for sure. And I know that about myself. We've talked about this many times, uh, and so that's something that I'm mindful of. But it doesn't it doesn't stop me from being myself. Where I have an idea and I want to share it, that's exciting and fun. It's just about feeling the room and waiting for your turn to give that exciting idea and stuff. So it's just being like. Knowing yeah. that you are that way or can be that way. And knowing how it can come across to other people. And that's so important, right? So that's a flaw that I've had that has helped me so much in having better conversations with people. Mm-hmm. Even more meaningful conversations with people. Because I'm not like, you know, just stabbing every conversation with my input. Yeah. So yeah, that that's these are all things that can... So whoever you know, if they could just give you an idea of what you're doing. Yeah, your mom, your dad, ask your siblings. Your siblings will be really honest with you. <laughs> Somebody out there loves you, man. Yeah. So, so and they'll then, know. And then if not, think of like times that um, people have said something about you, like coworkers. Like have people said, oh, you're really pretty or you're um, so thoughtful or you're so kind or you're really smart or, you know, things like that. Just what are some adjectives that you've received a lot of? If you can think back on your interactions with people, including the negative ones that like maybe right away. I remember one time a guy um, that it was a friend of mine. um, I guess he was trying to make a move on me and I didn't know. But I remember him saying that um, he didn't think I would be as prude as I was. That's amazing. He just assumed from like the way I look. He called you prude though? He said prude? Yeah. I just didn't think you'd be as ice queeny as you are. It's like. Um, I really like sex, but because I wanted to have like more of a connection with him or like, you know, establish he's more like, of a no, I like you. I think you're really cool. I, I, it's so funny. I didn't expect you to be this frigid. Yeah. That's such a fucking was lame like, thing. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I feel like sometimes you, people will look, see what you look like and they make an assumption about how you would be. That is the epitome of a no offense comment. You, know, you say no offense, but <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I just think you'd be frigid. Isn't that funny? It's crazy. I was like. Oh yeah, I guess being prude is like just wanting to get to know someone these days. Wow, but um, Bold. yeah, and am I prude? <laughs> uh, no. Right. God, God to know. Exactly. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so you know, just being aware of like how you come off, because I guess I came off as slutty to him, but oh, you're then slutty. he was very uh surprised that I didn't want to, or I wasn't jumping all over him. Right. Yeah. Well, you're slutty for one person. That's the whole thing. Yeah. That people don't know. Super loyal. Yep. Yeah. So what would you, what are some adjectives you would say about me if I was to ask you this? If we were not in a relationship right now, but you're like, you're a close friend. You know me very well. Yes. Uh, You're very loyal. Okay. That's obvious. Um, Okay. um, You're honest. Okay. I think you're very honest. I'm going to write these down so that later when I fill out a profile. Um, yeah, I think that you are genuine. Okay. Um, you have a heart of gold, biggest heart I've ever seen. Aww. Um, yeah, I think that, um, you're dependable. I think any, anyone who knows you, even on a friendship level, knows you're very dependable. Cool. And, um, uh, those are, I think those are like the five. So those are the ones that I would sell. Yeah. Like I'm like, okay, let me showcase these yeah like highlight these traits it's not like you're i'm a salesy person like selling myself but you know you just highlight those traits because those are the ones that people are most likely going to like about you you're you're also very good at seeing both sides of something oh thank you i should really Um, try maybe critical thinking or whatever um critical thinker critical thinker okay for you i put that um, I love that you are very dry humored and sarcastic. Oh yeah, that's my tone. 
if I was looking for a potential suitor, yes, I would want them to have a very dark sense of humor, um, <laughs> very dry and sarcastic. So I, think, I think that that was that would be something you would highlight. They got my blessing. Yeah, um, you're very funny, but I would show that and not tell it if I was to write it in a profile. Yeah, yeah, that can. I be think hard. funny guys sometimes like it's rough. So I'll pass over somebody if they're like, I'm a funny guy. I hate it. It's like, well, you wouldn't have to say that if you were like, you could just be funny. We're watching season we'll two of Love it. Island. Don't worry about everybody. I'm not going to go too deep on it. Yeah. There's a guy who's like, I'm a funny guy, and he's just doing terrible bits the whole time. And mm -hmm. you're like, oh, just stop it. Just <laughs> shut up. Mm -hmm. Just be whoever the fuck you are inside, man. Yeah, it's, it just comes off as insecure rather exactly. than as funny, which is. And maybe you are very funny, but you're missing. People are missing the intended purpose when you do that. I think that sometimes people think. They hear something, right? And they hear like girls like funny guys, and then they go into a room like yeah. like juggling yes. on a unicycle, and it's like, no, man, that's not what's going on. Just be, be your version of be funny. Be comfortable being you. Be uh, confident that you are funny without needing to try that hard. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I put that you are um, very family slash friends oriented. You put them first. Um, you're super loyal. You're very thoughtful and you're protective um and what i also like about that is that you're pretty guarded about some of those traits like not everyone gets to have them it's kind of true. exclusive true, true, true i feel true, like true. i'm in a club you're in a club when i get those you're in traits. the ultimate ultra I'm in platinum the vip club. platinum yeah, platinum wristband club nobody gets in <laughs> Steve you're the Green. only person you, you got the executive elevator <laughs> all the way to the top hell yeah, yeah. um sweet so Knowing those things. So, yeah, how do you say all that without being to sound like a douchebag? Right. And we'll get into that. Yeah. Um, I would also, some tips I would say do not lie or exaggerate to be more of what you think someone would want. It's similar to what we were talking about with the funny guy coming and juggling. But, like, yeah, a lot of, I feel like the, I've seen guys um, lie about their height, which is weird. I get that, like, Girl, some, there's some like a notion do. that girls like only like tall guys, but you don't want those girls. Right. So like, I feel like the more deceptive you are, the less you're gonna find someone that actually likes you for you, which is the ultimate goal anyway. And you're being deceptive too. You're being shitty too when you do that. Yeah. That's the thing you don't understand. You think, oh well, these girls are so lame. They only want these taller dudes. So I'm just gonna lie about it. And, and then, then I meet you in them. person, and I'm like, I don't care if you're short i care that you lied about it yeah you're the deceptor yeah you're the fuckhead and and it same goes for girls too there's lots of girls who catfish like where they'll use crazy filters yeah. they look i have a friend that looks like a victoria's secret model on all of her social profiles and then you see her in person and she is very much not she's a not victoria's a victoria's secret model. model that's all is that so bad? No, it's not. You're not a Victoria's Secret model. Most of us are not Victoria's Secret models, and that's okay. And you know what? Some people don't even want to fuck Victoria's Secret models. I exactly. Don't know. I don't know many of them. And that's what I'm saying is that is like people, you don't want to meet somebody who doesn't like exactly who you are. Mm -hmm. If you were like, well, I only like you when you do your makeup. Right, that's when you don't that, build a, a deep relationship exactly. with somebody. You can't. There's no future there. So these are all things that I feel like destroy your chances of building a solid foundation. And I think it's, I think people want the reward super fast without like setting the foundation. And I think that's the most important part. Yes. The starting from like an authentic, genuine, grounded foundation is going to be like your best bet on finding other people that like that when tom brady started to date giselle bunch and we all remember very famously yeah he did not go to giselle bunch and go hey like i'm a four-time super bowl uh winner like all this shit he had only won three super bowls at that point that's so see he's see? very humble what if he came in and was like hey, oh, i won four super bowls and then she's like that's you told me you won four super bowls i actually looked it up you won three super bowls at this point that yeah he'd go down in history as a liar he'd be a deceptor yeah and that's important a decepticon exactly yeah. Um, so we're going to go on a break really quick. When we come back, we are going to build our own profiles yes. and see what happens. See how they sound. See how they sound. See how they read. Kind of. I just feel like it's easier to show than to explain. Like, I feel like we're kind of talking at you right now, but I feel like going through the process with you will be an easier way to kind of show how to highlight yourself. Here we go. Hey, are you listening to Shit They Don't Tell You? Because if not, how are you listening to this ad about Shit They Don't Tell it's You? It's because they can't show? turn it off. 
They don't know how to they turn it off. Well, that's pretty convenient for They're us. Throwing their phone on the ground right now. Once you can it figure off. it out, could you please rate us and subscribe and like um, tell us that we're beautiful? Listen, we, we want it. We need the validation. We, but mostly we need the ratings because I mean that's basically how the world is. is that's run, how we continue to make more and more and more of this content, this glorious content that you love so much. If you like the show, support the show. And if you don't like the show, support the show. And it's for free. The the stars are for free. Yeah, you give them you give them away for free. It's not like if you give five stars, you pay more money. They should have charged for every single star. I would have made so much money. <laughs> <laughs> and it just made a killing. Okay, we're back. So I have never built a profile on Bumble before. I'm kind of excited. This shit is my jam. I haven't either. <laughs> this is very fun. Don't you love filling out profiles? I do. Though? I do. I, I really love all do. Of it. It's like you're pitching. It's very fun. Yeah, and so anytime I could help other people with this, it's a joy. Um, I actually have helped a few single friends fill out their profiles yeah, before because it's just fun. Um, okay, so I'm on the starting page, and I'm, just, I'm we're gonna walk you through this and how we would do our profiles. Take what you want, leave leave the rest. Um, Bumble also has this new DFH campaign, Dating From Home, where they have their own experts who can give you like stats and stuff and help you out and advise you on other ways that you can improve your uh, profile. But we're going to go through and do it the way that we would do it. As, our, as personal experts. Yes, as per our own personal experts. That's right, who have never done this before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did fill out uh, an online dating profile way back in the day, but none of these services were around mm -hmm. back when I was single. Um, there was only like a few to choose from, and they were kind of trash, but I did have fun with the profile part. Uh, so the first question is, what would you like to be called? I would like to be called Nikki. Mm, good name. This is how you'll appear on Bumble. Thank you. Can you be Nikki Green? No. Oh, okay. Damn. I wouldn't give, honestly, I don't feel comfortable giving my last name oh, good point. as like what I'd be called oh, on there. Because like it. like it. it's like, then it, other people that you're not interested in could like look you up. But what if somebody is like talking to multiple uh, Nikki's? I don't care. You could be Nikki G? I, then I got to stand out even more. Nice. With my personality. I like it. My shining, beautiful personality. You could be Nikki number one. They're, they're Nikki number one. Okay, it's number asking one. for my birthday and I get it because they want to know, are you a Scorpio? Yes, I am. November 2nd, 1986. Here's where I wouldn't lie about my age. True, true, true. Okay. How do I identify? Woman, man, other options. I identify as a woman. Okay. Now it's time to upload some photos. Ooh, this is critical too. Yes. Dude, have you seen the show um, The Circle? Yes. Okay, so I think they did a very good job at strategically picking pictures that were highlighting their best traits. The or Circle what they is a show, real quick, where everyone is basically, um, they're all in a big, big building together and they can only interact through social media. Yeah, they can only interact through their social media profiles. And some people are catfishing and some people aren't. But um, I feel like they all did a good job at pick, knowing who they are as a person or who their character was as a person and then picking pictures that would highlight that. So if you're, for example, for Steve was like more of a family person, and you like you know, like you like friends, family, yeah. um, overalls and uh, straw hat. Yeah, you're and you're a funny guy. <laughs> you can show like you doing stand up in a picture, or like you doing like some sort of quirky face, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, or and then the picture of you with like personality, with yeah, your per mom. whatever your personality is. Yeah, but yeah. like specific traits, like family. I would have a family photo. Mm. Um, not like a photo of you. Just all three photos are you in your room. Right, right, You know, right. I think a lot of people, they're like, okay, I guess I'll just take a few photos right now. What about shirtless beach photos? I mean, if that's who you are as a person, then oh. yeah, but I don't think that that would really sell you as Steve Green um, in a profile. reluctantly understand. I mean, that's just my opinion. As someone hard to who, hear. Who knows you very well. It's always hard to hear. All right, so we realized talking you through the entire process would uh, be a bit of time, so we decided to fill out our whole profiles and then walk you through what we did. Yes. So um, we were on the picture picking part, right? Yes. And I feel like you should highlight the things that you want to showcase about yourself as well as like like those best positive traits that we were talking about earlier. So for me, it was like, hey, I like doing stand-up. Um, I also included a picture of me doing stand-up. I wanted people to know that I'm a Packers fan. So I put a picture of me in my Packers jersey. And then um, I had like a cute like, Picture my profile picture is like a cute picture of me in like an outfit that I would wear n Normally every day a flattering picture of something that I would 
aware of me every day. Yeah, how they see you in the wild. Yeah, and since I selected, um, like I was talking about earlier, you can select a dating tier, a BFF profile, or a business one. I selected BFF just to see what that's about, and I did include a picture of me and Steven there because it's like the things that are most important to me. Yay. And then I um, also was looking for a picture of me and Franklin, my cat, because that would be something I wanted to showcase too. Of like, course. I am a hardcore cat person. Yes, agreed. It also has you, um, there's a couple profile prompts that you're allowed to fill out. You can choose up to three. So the three I chose were my ideal BFF, B, I'm sorry. The three I chose were my ideal BFF date, which is going to dinner and a concert or wine tasting. Pretty My good. ideal uh, karaoke song would be Forgot About Dre by Dr. Dre featuring Eminem. Need people to know that I am a stan. And then it says nightclub or Netflix. Definitely solid Netflix. Zero you nightclubs. You said rap god, but it's fine. I don't karaoke song rap god. You're so good at it, it though, that nobody would even know. It's Roki. You are thinking about Nikki from 2013, who was all about rap god. I don't rap that constantly, because you know what? It's not that fun of a song to rap. Really? No, because it's like really long. So first of all, people hate you because it's a six minute song. Oh. And then two, it's like fast, but like without, it's not fun. It's like not a fun fast to no. rap. It's like Fast for the point of being fast, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's not my favorite karaoke song. I went, went with Honesty here because Honesty is a trait that you highlighted about me. And honestly, Dr. Dre is where it's at. I'm just trying to get you your BFF, and I just think that you doing rap guard is so impressive, but it's fine. I think that we'll Forgot on. About Dre will highlight how much fun I have. We'll move on. I agree to disagree. If you can't like me for my Forgot About Dre, then you don't deserve my rap god. Okay. I understand. Thank you. Okay, my about me, I'm so glad they put character character limits in here because people can drone on and oh on and God. on about themselves. But this actually prevents you from doing that, which is awesome. Uh, so it keeps it short, concise, and then sprinkles your personality in there. So what I do for these, because I how people read you is much different than how you talk in person, yes. right? So I try to make it match as good as as good as I can, like the way that I'm writing it as the way that I would say it. Let's hear it. Okay, so, I like drinks, cats, and have a houseplant addiction. Dry sense of humor, love to laugh. Hate small talk, love mentally stimulating conversation without being too try-hardy. Love getting to know people. If you're down for some introspective convos, laughs, and cocktails, let's get deep, bro. Love it. Yeah. That's very you. Yeah. So, the way that, I'm just trying to like figure out how to explain how to write something like that would be start with things that you like, so for me, it was like drinks, cats, houseplants, and then put it into your personality. Into your voice. Yeah, into your voice. So it's not just like someone reading a biography of you. Yeah, or it just sounds like you're re it sounds like you gave somebody a Hallmark card sometimes. Yeah, or you know it's like, I, mean? I like drinks, I like cats, and I like plants. I like medicine. I have a very dry sense of humor, and I love to laugh. <laughs> right. It's like you make it you. I am a nurse. I yeah, it's very blasé. Yeah, make it sound like you. All right, so work in education, you can choose to fill out any of these if you want or don't want. I know education is like super important to some people, so if you're looking for people that are from a certain college, maybe you want to fill that part out. It's not that important to me, so I didn't enter that part in. I put podcast host from Studio 71. Uh -huh. What, what? Um, basic info, looking for live music, relationship, married. Obviously, put single if you were looking for a relationship. Have kids, no kids. Um, smoking, never. Drinking, socially. Exercise, active. New to the area, no, I'm local. Pets, cats. Cannabis, never. Voter, I vote. Star sign, Scorpio. Religion, agnostic. And that's it. Lives in Los Angeles from Santa Barbara. I feel like that gives a well-rounded version of who I am yeah. in one solid pitch. Yeah. And it's not, like you said, not too try hardy or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the most important part is like, don't come off like you're desperate. Like, you have to know how good of a person I am. You have to know that how loyal I am, how honest I am. Like, it's right. just like, just be the. I thing. will jump in front of a bullet for my friends. Like, all yeah. that shit, guys. It's don't. just, it comes off as extreme. Even if you're not meaning it to be extreme, you like, how do you get that out without people? You sound very much. Yeah. And you just, just need to be like just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Be Goldilocks about it. I will it. do my profile. So I did pictures. I have pic a picture of me wearing a, a, a piece of ice. 
a piece of ice because you're an ice man? Uh, yeah. Well, I am wearing a, a necklace with uh, that is diamond studded. Oh, right, right, right. You've seen this pic- photo- mm. photograph before. Some chains. I'm wearing chains uh, that we wore at the Danger Boys after rap party. Uh, I got a picture of you and me when we were at the Green Bay game. I got the cheese head on. I'm not a Green Bay Packers fan, but I am a football fan. Yeah. And I just like that picture. I like that picture too. Um, I got a, a picture of me in our onesies from Christmas time. Mm-hmm. So when we were wearing the onesies that go over our head and everything. Yeah. I like. I, I oh, and by the fun. way, I would say that if you're creating a dating profile, don't have ex- exes no. in your pictures. No. <laughs> and don't have a lot of group photos. I would but, have cropped yeah. you. Right. Yeah. If that was the case. I also have a picture of me. Uh, face tuned picture of me, heavily face tuned of me in a ball pit. Mm-hmm. And then I have the next picture is me in the same ball pit, same pose, unface tuned. Oh, that's nice. So you get you. a full flavor so you get of how that, good like, I can look. Yeah. And then you get the real me. Right. You know, I think that's important. Um, I put profile prompt. Um, I, I like how they have some of these questions so you don't have to come up with some of this stuff yeah, yourself. Yeah, it's they make it very easy for you to pitch yourself when and they then do things like this. And then it's almost like since you're answering a general or generic question, you can inject your personality into it because right. it's like you're being interviewed. So the one is the honest answer, and then the two, the injecting the personality is how you stand out. Exactly. So it's <laughs> a, I, I picked, uh, if I could donate a million dollars, it'd be to the Kardashians to help them stay rich. Nice. And wealthy. See, that's an example of showing your sense of humor without being like, I'm a funny guy. Right, fuck that shit. Pick me. It's just fun, right? <laughs> yeah. You're just having fun. My mother, oh, this, I, don't, I didn't put this in order. Uh, a bit must see movie, uh, The Big Lebowski, mm-hmm. and I have my mother would describe me as her light. Nice, which, which is true. that's really sweet. Yeah, I think that perfectly showcases you because it's like if your favorite movie is Big Lebowski, I get a sense of what type of person would like Big Lebowski. Yes, and then um, you having your mom say that she's your light is like that's the honest, like that's the your you the at your talk. core. Yeah. yeah, so it's like you're not too silly. Yeah, you're a real person. You're able to be grounded. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's important to me too, that people are that way and not just one way, right? Mm-hmm. Like being on per se. Right. Um, about me, I'm a writer slash YouTuber slash comedian slash podcast host, quadruple threat. I love my family and I hate my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> and I put hate in all caps. I'm a cat person, so you dog people can chill. <laughs> Cats get deep too. They're not as they are falsely portrayed in the media. I am a romantic and I'm not hopeless about it. I'm an active one. Dude, I'd marry you. Fucking immediately, right away. Yes, you just jump. You're gonna jump me. I would be showing your that profile to my friends. Like, dude, look at this guy. Oh, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> no, I really would though. Really? Because the yeah. cast thing. Well, no, just in the way that you're saying it. Okay. It's like Perfect. I can get a sense of your personality. Yeah. Right. I think that's so important. Is just to, like write it how you talk. It's everything, guys. It's everything. Just be yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, uh, my work education writer producer podcast host at self employed. Nice. Uh, education Upright Citizens Brigade 2009. If you know what that is, then great. If you don't, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I might be like, he put this as his education. Right? That, <laughs> then, see, then I filter out the fucking serious people, too. <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, you know, and then all the rest is kind of boring. Oh, wait. Height, 6'4". People love that. Oh, Let's do they? Honest. People love it. People love people, that. Chicks love it. They love tall guys. I. You're the first, well, you're the second tall guy that I've ever dated. Well, but I'm you're the, the tallest. tallest. Thank you're you. the tallest. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, he exercise. Needs that. I put active. I'm active now. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow. Love it. Uh, education level high school. Absolutely high school. Uh, <laughs> drinking socially, smoking never, pets, cats, looking for. I put relationship for this because yeah. we, we talked. We wanted to see the difference between the dating profiles and the BFF profiles. Exactly. Uh, kids want someday star sign Virgo, religion agnostic, voter sure. Yeah. You put agnostic too? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't talk about that. We did not. All of those were optional too. You don't have to put a religion if you don't want to. Um, cool. So then, so that's the gist of filling out a profile, picking pictures that represent you, saying words that represent you without being coming across as too tryhardy. Yeah. Um, and then just like yeah, being genuine, being like just a genuine, authentic person, not some someone that's like exaggerating traits to like try to please other people. I think is a a huge thing. And I think if you are that person, it does shine through. You know, I think some of this is takes care of itself. Yeah, but that's why I'm surprised when we get so many questions, though. So that I'm, when I, what I didn't understand was that people get very nervous about pitching themselves because, one, they don't want to come off as, like, narcissistic if they're, like, saying that they're, 
oh, I'm nice and I'm kind or whatever. Um, and then two, they don't want to come off as like, um, like not be able to, they don't want to uh, not be able to showcase those things. Yes. And I get that that's hard. That's like a fine line. It's so important though. Yeah. So the second thing that's that's hard for people, it's like a roadblock for people, is making the first contact, like messaging out first. Because how do you make your message stand out from other people? How do you still be yourself, but um, like have the other person take interest in you? And I think that I see, I wouldn't have thought this was so hard for people if I didn't check my DMs. <laughs> like my yeah. DMs are a, a mess yeah. of people. There's so many of just hi, 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 hey, hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hi. It's what are you doing? Opener. What are you doing? Hey. Yeah. It's don't. Yeah. Don't message. Hi, hi. sucks, guys. How, when's hi ever been good in real life? No, it's not. It's just something you kind of say to like somebody as they're walking by. What are you up to? Don't. No. 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 Come at them with something interesting, something that says that you've read their profile. I would look at Steve's profile mm -hmm. and I would say, oh, I really like this, this, and this about him. So I would put that in my message. Like right. I would say, oh, Lebowski fan, huh? What, what about, and I would maybe make a quote from it. Papers, business yeah, papers. Yeah, like go to sleep, my sweet prince. There you go. Or whatever, Yeah. you know? Um, or good, good night. Good, I would mess up the quote. Ah, you're such a mom about it. <laughs> hey, good, 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 good night. I seen that one. Go to the good night. <laughs> hey, this is what happens when you when you mess with a stranger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would be like, oh, football. I'm go pack go. That's pretty good. And I and I'd be like, look, I'm not. I'll be honest. I lied. Yeah. I'm not a. I'm not a Packers fan. Hey, I'm not a Lebowski fan. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I so do like the match. Packers as my second team now. Yeah, and I like the Big Lebowski. I just can't quote it. Yeah, because so, it's great. There you go. That's honesty. So we have a conversation already. It's like, I, it's taking, people like to feel like you're not just reaching out generically. Like you're not casting a wide net and they're just another number that you're talking to. People like to feel like they're engaged in a real conversation where you actually found the their profile interesting because of who they are. Exactly. And And just showing that a little bit in a message is something I think that, will surprisingly make you stand out. It doesn't, don't come across too superficially either. Like I could have made, I, I'm a big football guy. Everyone knows that. Yeah. I could have made my whole profile about football and that would have been so boring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm passionate about something doesn't mean they're going to find that interesting. Well, and that's why I say talk to a, a friend or family member first, because having them describe the traits that they like about you will give you a lot of insight to what other people might like about you. Because I guarantee you, if you asked your friends and family, they wouldn't be like, oh, I love that you're so into football. Exactly. No exactly. one would say that. Right. But some people, because you are building a storefront for yourself, yeah, they think, well, that's a huge part of my identity. I couldn't not talk about that the whole time. But that's then like, that's when you realize that you're one dimensional and you got you to gotta, right. see yourself deeper. That's like if I made my whole profile about being an Eminem fan. Like, and you could have. And I could have because Easily. I love Eminem, but that's not what makes me a whole person. No way. And that's not, I don't think, what people become friends with me for. No, and it scratches the <laughs> surface. And you do love Eminem for deeper reasons. We've talked about it on the show before. Right. But that's the, but that's all part of the texture and the tapestry of Nicky Limo. Yes. Like, the person that you are with the with the moral center that you have, some of that is informed through the music you've listened to for Eminem and, and things. Oh, I made that music choice because of that. Yeah, for exactly. sure. Um, but yeah, it's more like a fun fact. It's exactly. like, fun fact, I love the cults. Exactly. It would be yours. It's not, it's not my like, identity. Right. Yeah. And I also feel like people that make that uh, something else their identity aren't in tune with themselves enough. So it could come across like that too. I know I know a guy who graduated from UCLA and he won't shut the fuck up about it. And it's like Oh, yeah. Just chill. Right. It's fine. People are proud of you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. But it's like That's it's just a be fact. This is a fun fact about you. It right. shouldn't be who you are as a person and I think maybe that is the deeper thing is like getting to know yourself as a person which in these times is the you have the most opportunity to do you do you can get deep with somebody now because they can't pressure you into a social situation how cool is that it's so cool it's so cool it's yeah. like a hack out there i love it i mean it's looking on the bright side obviously. in my profile i put i i hate small talk yeah i only like I mentally too. stimulating conversation um so the fact that uh you get to reach out to people that you think share your interests and you only are gonna be having stimulating conversations is awesome.
Yeah. And you could literally filter it too. If they try to do like more small talk than Ugh. than mental conversations, then you can like just stop responding. Yeah. And, and that's sometimes, and sometimes for those of you out there who are like, well, small talk is how I kind of build up because I'm a little anxious sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But uh, your profile hopefully helped them see you as a deeper person. Right. It gives you more talking points. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. Uh, you pick, looking at their profile, you should have more talking points than so about uh, LA being shut down. Right. That crazy, huh? Hopefully this stuff is going to kickstart a deeper conversation. Right. And so, yeah, to get to the sometimes to get deeper you have to go through the weeds of like how are you yeah weather's crazy like you do have to do that sometimes it, or you it, can talk more about like how has it affected you personally yeah yeah. just yeah. get more personal whenever you look at a small talk like find ways to make that more personal it's an opportunity to get deeper it yeah. really is get deep bro you can get deep you can get deep off of weather i can do it with you right now off of weather if you want you want to talk to me do about it. the weather do it go i don't believe you so go. so uh ask me about the weather Hey, so how's the weather? It's so rainy right now. Like it's it's intermittently rainy, right? Mm -hmm. But it's so rainy. It reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to go outside and I would splash in every single puddle. You know, like something like that. And you haven't done that in a while or something. And I haven't, yeah, I haven't gotten to do that in a long time. And I just was outside and I was like, you know what? I'll splash in every puddle. And then I'm like, wait, I'm an adult now. This you actually brought the sucks. kid out of me. Sure. <laughs> but, but yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah. Just you can easy make it stuff. more personal. Yeah, yeah. You can deepen anything if mm -hmm. you try to relate it back to a story, something personal about yourself, something that means something to you. I want to do it. Do it to me. Hey, uh, yeah. What do you think of what's going on in LA right now? Yeah. I mean, uh, Truthfully, I'm an introvert and I've been working on this all my life. So even though everything I love is getting canceled, I'm low-key kind of excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. And see, that's you being on the bright side. Some people could pick that apart and go like, that's so fucked up. But no, you're like, no, hey, what can I do right now? I'm helpless. It's honest and it's like kind of dark humored, exactly. which is a it's you. portrayal of me in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. um, so if people do see that and take it the wrong way, then those aren't the kind of people that I want to talk to. Exactly. Those aren't the people that More should people follow that me or anything. More people that get you. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Go out there. Make some connections. Let us know if you have any questions or comments or success stories. We'd love to hear it. Uh, I feel like this is a topic that we could talk about forever. Yes. Seriously. And, and also- There's I wanna... so many different faucets of it. I remember I lost my best friend coming out of high school. Uh not because they died, but because I hated them. I was like, them. I hated wow, them. that's because I hated them. dark. Okay. Uh, and I remember it took me a long time. I, having a best friend was part of my identity. It meant something to yeah. me. It was very, I took it very seriously that I'm a good friend. Right, right. right. And so when I lost my best pal, I remember being <coughs> devastated when I moved to LA and I didn't have anybody. Mm -hmm. And I moved up here with Horton and we had each other, but like Horton did his own shit. And so I didn't really have like a best pal or anything. And I think that, that because that was so important to me, it's definitely something that I wanted, mm -hmm. and I wish that there was like an app that existed where I could I could have looked for one through yeah, there. Yeah, had a drinking buddy, anything gone out. Because like... I I used to go watch football games alone. Mm -hmm. Like I would go to like a like a Buffalo Wild Wings or yeah. or um, Big Wings alone, and I just say for me one only, and I'd watch football games because I I didn't have TV. Yeah, there was this place it. across the street for me that had I didn't have TV either, and uh, there was a place across the street that had bottomless Bloody Marys. And um and so I would buy one drink and I would sit there all day because that's all I could afford was like that one drink but Amazing. it was bottomless and I would watch alone but if I had we could have been watching it together I if I had to had something like this that I could connect with people with that's what I mean so yeah it's just such an easier way to get there because then I you know when I when I was able to get a best friend again it it's something again that. How many times do you guys listen to shit they don't tell you to talk about my best friend, Michael? I, it's part of my identity. I like that about I myself. I thought I was your best friend. Well, you are my best friend in a whole different way. <laughs> but but you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. it, it's something that I like about myself is that I have friends and that I'm very loyal to people. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I just think it's so – It's if, if that's part of who you are, something like this can actually help you get there Yeah. a little quicker than it took me. It took me like 10 years. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, – Go out there. Uh, don't let this slump that we're all going through uh, deteriorate your mental state because you can't socialize. Go out there and keep talking to people. Keep making connections. People are out there. People are wanting to talk to talk to you. They're they're wanting to make connections more than ever. So, um, and really, there's a lot of ways you can connect. You know, Bumble's one of them. 
Um, and you can actually check out the link. We have it in the description here to make it easy on you if you don't want to just click down there. Yeah. Get- because, I mean, it. this way of living and working is kind of new for everybody. And sometimes it can create feelings of just isolation, anxiety, and monotony. And that's what we're kind of trying to pre- prevent yes. if we can. And not being, al- not feeling alone. Mm-hmm. You, may, you might be alone, but not feeling alone. It, it, I know it sounds corny, but it, it helps so much, man. We're alone together. Yeah. <laughs> go, go to our Discord because we, yeah, we love conversing that's through our patreon patreon.com slash sticky we have extra bonus episodes of shit they don't tell you on there and then we also have a discord chat and we have live streams uh we're actually doing a bonus live stream this month because everybody's stuck inside yeah but um, including us yeah rate us and then come back next week we'll talk to you soon thanks guys stay safe out there